spiritual worship. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John chapter 4, verse 24. Spiritual worship is worshiping with the spirit and in the truth that makes us reborn. The Apostle Paul explains more about spiritual worship in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore I urge you, brethren, by mercies of God, to present to your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. The Apostle Paul said the spiritual worship is offering our holistic life and real bodies to God as a living sacrifices. If we only give our hearts by thinking, God will understand me, and dedicate our real lives and bodies to the place where it is not relatable to worship, it's not spiritual worship. Instead of this heart, living daily life with practical service, activity, and obedience is called spiritual life. Likewise, newborns in Christ tend to live in action with a new heart. And the prayers and worships from these newborn Christians will make spiritual worships that the angels in heaven join as well. Christians are the people who live these new and abundant spiritual lives. I hope our lives be more faithful. Moreover, through this life, I hope we can spread all God's blessings to others through this life and live in this faithful life. Loving God, please help us to live this spiritual life that we give our bodies for your holy sacrifices so we can feel the blessings for ourselves and others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.